Okay, welcome to another Simple Engineering Snippet. In this video, we're going to be working an example problem uh, where we will determine the initial speed or magnitude of the uh, velocity of a projectile exiting this uh, launch tube and find the impact as the uh, projectile uh, lands on this slope. I hope you find it useful. Okay, I've already done a few steps. If I define a coordinate axis, X and Y, have to be at the point where the projectile is exiting uh, the tube and you'll note that at that point uh, y is equal to zero so at the point of impact uh, y is equal to five feet eight feet minus three feet i've also denoted the uh, direction of gravity and i should also note that uh, we're defining time is equal to zero is the point when the uh, projectile exits the tube and the point of impact we will designate as tf Okay, so we have x and y directions defined, and that's because we are going to be working through uh, the equations of motions independently in those directions. So let's start off in the x direction. And there are no forces in the x direction because we are going to be uh, uh, discounting uh, air resistance. So when I do that, my second derivative with respect to time, and all my derivatives are going to be with respect to time, Newton's second law tells me that's going to be equal to zero. So I can integrate that expression, and that introduces an integration constant C1. Uh, X dot is the speed. It's constant, and I can express that constant in terms of the initial, initial uh, speed in the X direction of V naught cosine 45 degrees. Okay, so I can integrate that expression again, and so that's going to be equal to the speed V naught cosine 45 degrees times time plus another integration constant c2 and at time is equal to zero x is equal to zero so i put that in and i get that c2 is equal to zero okay so we have an expression for x of respect to time but we know something else we know that at impact time is equal to tf x is equal to 75 so i can make use of that so 75 is equal to v naught cosine 45 degrees times tf so we don't know tf but we can solve that equation for tf and tf is equal to 75 over v naught cosine 45 degrees Okay, so that equation is going to be useful down the road, so let's see if we can uh, save that, clean it up a little bit. Didn't work great, so let's uh, clean that up a little bit more. There we go. Okay, well now let's do the uh, same thing in the y direction. So, this time there is a uh, force uh, acting... Uh, in the y direction that's going to be again my gravitational force so uh, the second derivative is equal to minus g and integrate that to get the speed that's equal to minus g t plus integration constant d1 and at time is equal to zero i know my y component of velocity uh, in terms of my unknown so that's equal to v naught sine 45 degrees and so that is d1 is equal to v naught times sine 45 degrees so integrating again i get y is equal to don't forget my first term minus g t naught squared over 2 plus v naught sine 45 degrees times time plus a new integration constant i'll call it d2 and again i've set my coordinate axis such that at time is equal to zero y is equal to zero so d2 is equal to zero okay well that's not everything we know, we can still make use of the fact that we know that our impact time, as we discussed earlier, y is equal to 5, so let's make use of that. So 
5 is equal to minus g times my impact time squared over 2 plus v naught sine 45 degrees times the impact time. And <clears throat> that is a quadratic equation. Uh, but I don't need to worry about that because I already have an expression for TF. So let's uh, go ahead and substitute that in. So I get 5 is equal to minus G over 2 times the quantity 75 over V naught cosine 45 degrees, that quantity squared, plus V naught sine 45 degrees times TF, which again is 75 over V naught cosine 45 degrees. Okay, so I can do some simplification. And I see on the second term, I have V naught in the numerator and the denominator, uh, sine 45 in the numerator, cosine 45 in the denominator, since it's 45 degrees. Those are equal. And so the second term is just 75. So let's uh, continue simplifying. I get minus 70 is equal to minus g over 2 times the quantity 75 over v naught cosine 45 degrees, that quantity squared, times 1 over v naught squared. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of my uh, negative signs on each side. And now I can solve this expression for V naught. And V naught is equal to the square root of G over 2 times the quantity 75 over V naught cosine 45 degrees, that quantity squared. divided by 70. So that's the equation I need to solve. And I'm going to uh, switch over to uh, SMATH to actually solve this equation. Okay, so let's enter in the equation for uh, V naught. So V naught is defined as square root of U over 2 times the quantity 75 feet divided by cosine 45 degrees, that quantity squared, all over 70 feet. And letting SMATH do the work, we obtain that V naught is equal to 15.5 meters per second, but let's get it in feet per second. And too many decimal places there. So 50.9 feet per second. So that's one of the answers that we're looking for. That is the uh, magnitude of the velocity as it exits uh, the tube. Now let's uh, go ahead and uh, determine our impact time. So again, to find our impact time, it's equal to 75 feet divided by V naught times cosine 45 degrees. And let's let S math do the calculation for us. And we get 2.081 seconds or 2.1 seconds. Okay, so that's how you work a problem like this. I hope you found this useful. Uh, please like and subscribe, and thanks, and have a great day.